this all right, babe?
Or we're not using it. Okay. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, so. We got some live ones here. Yes, yes. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Buen Shabbat. Buen Shabbat. In all of the languages of our people, we say have a have a good time this morning because it's Shabbat. It's the Sabbath. It's the day where we say all of the stuff that has been hanging on to me this week and has trying been trying to drag me down has been trying to get me down in the mud where I came from, right? I've been lifted up from the mud with, through spirit, yeah? All the stuff that's been trying to keep me down, I can let it go because it's Shabbat. It'll be there after Shabbat, I promise you. It will still be there. So, yes, we have, would you like to demonstrate? Why don't you get up and show people? Yeah, get rid of it. I'm going to invite you to get rid of it. So, everybody, shake it off, you know, like, just brush it off. Just, just a little bit that there, a little danger of those, you know. Get rid of it, because Shabbat is the time where we have community, we have rest, we have spirit, and we have uh, today an amazing brit mitzvah. Yes. So um, I'm going to invite you to settle in. The f we have uh, our morning service has a number of parts. The first part is called Birchot Hashachar, blessings of the morning, blessings of the dawn even. Um, we physically made it to this physical space, which is amazing. And Lex, you're going to help us with a celebration on page 141. If you've never uh, used a Hebrew prayer book, it opens from the right side because Hebrew goes right to left, although there is English. 141 will have Matovu, a quote from the Book of Numbers. How good is it just to be together in this space? It is wonderful. It's wonderful, it right? It's wonderful. No lies detected. 141. You're the one. I'm the one. You're the one we've all been waiting I'm the one. You're the one you've been waiting for. I'm the one, yeah, for two years. Okay. Matovu
So, time we ask for something like that, uh, it's always good to uh, meet God halfway. And so we're going to put on a talus if you've got one or if you want one in the, uh, in the lobby. This is a, a Jewish garment, which uh, it's nice to have. Uh, have it look nice and be pretty. But really the key part of it are these, these strings, these tzitzit, which are reminders of our sacred obligation to the world, to God, to community, to ourselves. And so for the very first time, Blacks, you're going to wear one here in public. And you are going to get presented this very talit from Grandpa. Yeah, D Diane and Tom, or just Tom? Papa. Papa Tom. Come on up. <laughs> and we just invite you to talk into one of these microphones, which are both live. You make your choose. Do you you be yourself no matter what and I'm proud of all your actions love you kid love you too Just, okay. I'm sorry I wrote some words down I just didn't want to forget so anything we'll for less okay. we'll dear dear Lex first of all We'd like to acknowledge all of our family who flew or drove in to be here today with us. We're thrilled that they were able to be with us. It's been more than three years due to COVID since we've all been together. So this Brit Mitzvah has provided us with a joyous family reunion. Since the day we waited for you to be born at the hospital and ever since you've been a complete joy to us. How proud we are that in the past few months you've tackled all your studies for school, your Brit Mitzvah, attending all 10 Brit Mitzvahs of your friends in Sunday school at Bet Havarim. Plus, you did a special project for your middle school teacher who was very pleased with that and impressed. And at the same time, you were rehearsing for the lead in Little Mermaids, and you were an incredible Ursula. You, you've written books, and your art is incredible. You've even designed your mom's book covers. We marvel at your many talents. You also did art of your rabbi on roller skates, which was really <laughs> fabulous and very funny. We've always loved to hear you sing, and we've been to every talent show, play, musical that you've been in since you were a tiny little one. I cavell when you're on stage. Papa needs to find out what the Irish word is for cavell, because we don't know, but he cavells too. What can't you do? And how do you do it all and do it so well? And are you sure you're my grandchild? Because I have such limited energy and you managed to do it all. We're excited to see what the future holds for you. As you know, there's nothing you can't do if you set your mind to it. And you're growing up in a time when you can be an astronaut, an actor, a business owner, a doctor, a writer, a singer, a cantor, a rabbi, and I was going to say, President, but I'm changing it to Vice President for now. <laughs> Whatever you do, you will excel, and we're excited to take that journey with you as you someday graduate high school and college and perhaps get married and have children. With you at the reins, it will be quite a ride. Just know how much Papa and I love and adore you, and we couldn't be prouder of you and all your accomplishments. Whatever name you call yourself, we will love and accept you. Whatever path you take in life, we will love and accept you. Know that we will always love, cherish, and support you unconditionally. We love you madly, as your great-grandpa Joey would have said. Give me cheerio. <laughs> okay. Now you know that you're going to be surrounded by not just a talus, but a... Uh, a community of love. So I'm going to invite you to turn to page 143. And we have the top of this talit, we have an, what's called an atzara, which is uh, related to the word for crown. 
um, and we are crowned with um, not just the, you know, not, not like a regular, like, King Charles crown, but this is like the crown of spirit. Are you, and you, well, you've got your own physical crown, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we give it a kiss, one, one each side, and then have this protective covering of light and sweetness over our heads. You can do it. You've done it before. Done all, all the way over your head. Yeah. All the way over your head. There you go. And, and you lead us in the blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melecha Alom Asher Kidashanu Bamitzvotav Bitsivanu Lahita Tef Batsitsit. Amen. And anytime we have, yeah, beautiful. Yes. Yes. What you said. Anytime we have this moment, this new moment, um, Make some space for you, uh, unless you've got. Was there more? Um, unless there's something else. <laughs> Beautiful. I don't want to cut you off. God forbid. <laughs> got it. Um, anytime we have something new, anytime there's a first, anytime something happens um, that uh, brings an opportunity for wonder, um, and this is a first. Although I'm going to invite you to have it be a little more, yeah. pull the right side down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we there you go. Yay. Yay. Um, this is, we have our, in our spiritual toolkit, we have a blessing called the Shahianu, which thanks God for enlivening us and for standing us up to touch this moment of infinity. So I invite anyone who knows to join along and everyone, anyone who doesn't to just hum and smile. <laughs> Baruch HaZadonai. Eloheinu melech haolam, shehechianu, vekiyamanu, vehegianu, lazman hazeh. Amen. All right, so, so now you look the part. I think you should lead us in some prayers. What do you think? Sure. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We're going to turn to page 153. As I said, it is Bir Chod Hashach, our blessings of the morning. And so we're going to physically connect to uh, uh, our bodies, which uh, may be creaky and groany, and maybe you got a thing going on, you don't want to talk about it, but you got here, right? It got you here. So I hope everybody rise in body or spirit. Um, 152 and 153. I'm going to interrupt from time to time to invite us to... Uh, just note the, the, this list of blessings and what it's got in it that are uh, that's really powerful. So, uh, Lex, why don't you start us off? Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Ke'ha'olamim Who removes sleep from my eyes and slumber from my eyelids. 154. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu who gives the bird of dawn discernment to tell day from night. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Ke'ha'olamim Who stretches forth the earth upon the waters. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu the blind to see. All right, so let's stop there. Makes the blind to see. So we have a we have a rule that you shouldn't say a blessing over something that doesn't happen. So uh, what do you see? We gotta let's note something we may have been blind to. Uh, could be in this room. Could be outside this room. Yes, Lex. All my friends and family here to celebrate. Well, me. All their friends and family are here. Yeah, look at that. I see them. Correct. Anyone else see something that they haven't noticed before? Yeah. Phoebe Tam is watching us. Phoebe Tam is here on her computer. Hello, Phoebe Tam. One of the kindergarten buddies. Nice. Anything else? Anything else? See something outside, maybe? Inside? Uh, we got a play set. Yeah. Look at that. A whole, a whole play structure, even, which is uh, open to anyone who wants to use it. Including Bill. Yeah, Bill. Notice that the drum on the Kohan Shabbat tapestry is the same drum that Emmett has his 
Oh my goodness. So Miriam Carp did that tapestry for us. And by the way, it shows up in Curb Your Enthusiasm if you want to see the, this tapestry on television. Uh, and it matches the drum that Emmett is playing, which is called a what? Djembe? Djembe. Djembe. I was right the first time. Okay, good. Yeah. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a beautiful day, right? Yeah. Sort of. I mean, it's beautiful to me because we're here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like an eggshell colored sky. Like uh, Marge Piercy writes about that. Anyone else? Last chance for something you see that's, that you hadn't seen before. Yeah. I haven't seen Lexus Tallis. Lexus Tallis. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's pick up uh, on the second blessing on 156 and 7. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who clothes the naked Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who makes the captive free Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Cheha olamim Who raises up the humble Okay, so feel yourself raised up. Yeah. Even if you've got a book, you can hold the book in both hands behind your back. Feel your chest stretch out. Maybe the biggest back bend you've had. Just be careful. <laughs> Yeah, look, you're taller now. Not really, but you are. Okay, keep going. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who makes firm a person's steps Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who acts for all my needs Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who girds Israel with strength Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who crowns Israel with splendor Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Adonai Eloheinu Che ha'olamim Who made me free All right, this is free pose, since you're free. Whatever you want to do. All right, I'm looking for some poses. Can you do a little pose? Can you still spin? There you go. Excellent. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I got some, got some people in the front. Okay. All right. Excellent. Let's take this home. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Very good. Made you free. You're free. You're all free people. Free people. Free people. Free, oh, free people. Free, free people. Free okay, people. keep going. <laughs> Let's not do that thing we always do, and then they'll leave. They'll get left behind. You know. Yeah. No, we want to finish for them. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who made me of the people Israel? Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Che Ha'olamim Who gives strength to the weary All right. Amen. You, you may be seated. Um, the body that we got here is infused with spirit, with breath. So I'm going to invite you to take a deep breath. The next bunch of prayers are going to have breath and spirit uh, as a common theme. So I invite you to take a big breath. Maybe expand your chest. Yeah, it could happen. I'm not the boss of you. You can do whatever you want, but it could happen. We say once on 165, Elo, hi, my God. Neshama shenatata be. The breath, the spirit that you put into me is pure no matter what happens. So I'm going to invite you to lead us in that, Lex. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
neshama shenatata viteho rahi Elohu hai neshama shenatata viteho rahi teho rahi Elohu hai neshama in the front row. There you've got the idea. We are getting to that point in the second part of our service, Pasuke de Zimra, verses of praise, in which we say, oh, okay, I've got a body. I've got a space to be in. We've got nature. We've got breath. That's pretty amazing. Um, emotions come into this. Yeah? Um, not just awareness. And so on 177, you'll see the beginning of Pasuke de Zimra. Blessed is the one who spoke and all of it came to be. That's pretty exciting. Um, so I'm going to invite you to rise in body or spirit. Um, and our amazing chorus director, Bonnie, is going to tell us what's going on here. So we are going to sing a three-part round. And the easiest part is Baruch Hu, Baruch Shemo. You can just sing that for as long as you want, or you can try the fancier stuff when we get there. <laughs> So, but I know that Lex knows this one too, so let's all start it. of this moment, excitement, emotion, <laughs> continuing, 231, um, the very last part of the Jewish Bible, which we'll talk about later, um, has in it the book of Psalms, which you may have heard of, 150 sort of emotional uh, prayer poems, um, and the last one, one uh, Psalm 150, so we're going right to the end, um, ends in Hallelujah. It's a Hebrew word, so the Jews gave us hallelujah. You're welcome. <laughs> hallelujah means praise. Yah is a nice, is a nickname for God. Um, it's a short name, so anyone who's a Ja or Yah. Um, so we say praise Yah. Yah. Yeah. Whatever is going, yes. So, and this psalm goes from the biggest, you know, the galaxies in the sky to, again, just breathing. Kol haneshama to hallelujah, every breath. Praise is God. So what's going well for you? Um, we're gonna, you're going to tell us, and we're going to say hallelujah. 
And we're going to mean it, I hope. All right, so what's going well? Anybody? Yes. You were in the stage crew of The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So was uh, one person in the and, I, and Onyx is here. And Onyx is here. I haven't yeah. seen Onyx in a long time, so I'm going to say hallelujah, hallelujah to that. Anyone? Jacob. My school finished in last Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that some sort of like... Night, They're like, the, like one of the biggest tests. Nightmarish, like. standardized tests. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Hallelujah to that. Anyone else? I'm still learning. Yes, Professor. Lex is doing the thing, and Felton's doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Any, yes, sir. My first Shabbat in a temple since my bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> Your bar mitzvah. Hallelujah. So that was what, like two, three years ago? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Good things. And you're going to leave Good to things, go to... Chelsea. You're going to see your mom later. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And it's Mother's Day, so how perfect. Yes. We've been married 15 years this week. 15 Woo! years Yay! anniversary. Yay! Hallelujah. I have fun. And Lex. After a year, like two years of practicing, I'm finally here doing the thing. You're doing the thing. We I'm heard doing that. The thing. <laughs> All right. As long as we're talking about these things, we might as well sing the song, you know? Yeah. Psalm 150 well. on page 231.
page 241, in the middle of the page, our spirits are lifted up to the highest heights. Shochenat maharom v'kadoshimo. Chatuv rananu tzadikim badonai leisharim navat hila befiyasharim titromam uvdivrei tzadikim tit barach uvershon chasidim tit kadash uvekerev kedoshim tit alam. Middle of two sixty-three. I'm sorry, two forty-three. Pick the wrong numbers to say, just out of nowhere. It's a two, a four, and a... Th <laughs> Do that sometimes. You can see it right there, 243. Middle of the page. Um, we're gonna, this is going to lead us into Shema and its blessings, which we, go, we went from body to emotions, now to intellect. We're going to start to think about some of the evidence that there is some sort of spirit or power throughout the universe. Um, this is going to be our prelude, as we say. Um, all the songs that we've been singing... Um, you know, God deserves all that and more. Yishtabach, middle of 243, and uh, uh, Bonnie is going to lead us in that, and I'll invite you all to rise in body or spirit. And then Lex is going to lead us in the Hatsi Kaddish. Yishtabach, shimecha la'ad malkeinu. Yishtabach, shimecha la'ad malkeinu. Your name be praised eternally throughout all the heavens and the earth for you. One deserve our song and our greatness and our splendor. Be'ahod, 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 me'atavet olam baruch. Adonai, Amen. Chatzik is on 245, and that's going to lead right into the Baruch on 247. Yit kadav yit kadash shemay raba. Beamadi vrachirute, beam lich malchute, bechaye chon of yo mechon, uchaye de ho bet Israel. La agala, la agala, uvitz malkarib, ve imaru. Shemei <laughs> Maybe seated. First uh, bits of evidence for uh, some sort of magic, some sort of spirit, some sort of wonder in the world. Creation, yeah? Yeah. Because um, I'm here. What's that? Because I'm here. Because you're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I told, told you this before, somebody, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, um, this amazing luminary of the 20th century, Heschel said, um, we should have radical amazement. 
amazement, right? We know being amazed, but radical, not just like, I'm a radical, which you should do as well, but radical at the root, at the root of all creation is amazement. So we ask each of our Brit Mitzvah students to share something in nature that they feel particularly connected to, and I have heard yours, and I, I love it. So could you tell us what, you're, what you feel connected to? Like the ocean, the sea, the bodies of water. Ocean, sea, bodies of water. And the nautical animals. The nautical animals therein. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Anything in particular amongst those nautical animals? <laughs> uh, my favorite animal is siphonophore. Siphonophore. What's a siphonophore? <laughs> um... It's, it's, for it's, swimming. It, um, it's kind of, it lives in the deep and it has a bunch of lights. It's a beautiful animal. It has lights? It has lights. Like a truck? Kind of like a truck. It's you ever see like an angular fish? Have I lights? seen a what now? <laughs> angler fish, you know. An like angler the... fish? No. Should I just say yes for the purposes of the service? Yes, say yes. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, angler fish, you know, all up and down. Yeah. yeah, Hank Aaron. They're only down. They just, they just, yeah. They're only down. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a unique creature. There's really nothing like it. And it's lights and, and it can, it's huge. It's bigger than this room. It's bigger than this, the, than the temple. And it's beautiful. And it lights up. And it lights up. I think that's called bioluminescence. Is that right? That is called bioluminescence. Wow. That's right. That's amazing. And what? I gotta catch up. I, I, yeah, yeah. A lot of liberal arts classes, you know. I, I, I say, uh, yeah. I I was impressed with myself. I knew that all, a word with all those syllables. So, and 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 why do you connect to this animal in particular? Because it's unique and it's beautiful, and there's really nothing like it. And I'm unique. I'm beautiful, and there's really nothing else like me. Yay! Yay! So, in that spirit, yes. I love that. How, We're gonna... how apropos? How apropos? Do you want to say, Bonnie, why it's so apropos? Because of what we're going to do next? We're going to be on page 269, where we are singing a little song, a little prayer about let a new light shine. Let a new light shine on Zion. Yeah. Or Hadash. Or Hadash. We are loved with a great love. Anybody, uh, anybody loved by anyone in the room? Anybody? Yeah, you want to just call out? So, who, remember Kojak? You remember Kojak, right? 
Totally, totally. Say, say it again. Who loves you, baby? Who loves you, baby? So that's the question. Who is uh, Telly Savalas, the Torah of Telly? Uh, who loves you? Just shout out some, some names, some people. Who loves you? My mom and dad. Mom and dad, yeah. Grandma. Wow, it's, let's immediately go negative and like, well, no, you said the wrong thing. That, she knows you love her. Who else? Who loves you? Yeah. What? These, Life? Life? These loves? people. These people. Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone has got a name? A person? Lex! Lex! No one else? That's it? Well, well just shout out some names. Okay, on the, if you're shy, on the count of three, we'll all shout out a name. Somebody who loves you, okay? One, two, three. Hey. There you go. Ahava Rabba Ahavtanu. What's that? Hmm? No, okay. Uh, page 273. <laughs> Seventy-five. You'll see the continuation of this set of prayers, and how the rabbis beautifully connect the two themes. So we have um, the love that we experience. Um, we experience it through the receiving of Torah that God teaches us um, the laws of life. We we pray through Torah, and it says Vaha'erinenu that we should have our uh, the light shine out through our eyes when people see us. That, that we they know that we've got love within us. So light and love and Torah. Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence. <laughs> Torah luminescence. Siphonophores lumina? flowing through all of us. What's that? Siphonophores flowing Siphonophores, through all of us. Siphonophores all the way down. All the way down. Yeah, great. Yeah. Vahari Nena, 275. The ha... Ooh, you, are you... Are we... Who's starting? Okay. The ha... Ooh. You pick the key. I'll pick the key? Okay. You pick the key. I'll pick the key. This is his special skill. That's true. The We 
are going to head now to the Shema, which is the kind of center of this whole set of prayers, which says that the light and the wonder and the amazement and the love and the... I can't, the, the bioluminescence. Uh, opticon. <laughs> bioluminescence. Bio, the, 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 what is Siphonophore? Siphonophore. There we go. Yeah, it's all part of the same. It took me a while to figure out what you're trying to say. Uh, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like, it's almost like you live in my head. Uh, so that's going to be on 277. You're going to lead us in that, but we're going to physically um, manifest this unity of all, all, all of this creation. At the star on 275, we say, Vahavienu le shalom me abrakamfonaris, that all of this should come together from the four corners of the earth, both our people and we hope the world. And that'll lead right into the Shema. It's round. What's, what's round? The earth. What happened? The earth is round. The earth is round? For the four corners. Oh, how, oh, how could there be four corners of the earth? We tried what? to resolve this a few weeks ago, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's uh, right. What did we say last time? Did I have a good answer? No, but I, 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 I had a half good we answer. We deflected. <laughs> <laughs> Compass points. Yeah. Well, it says that, um, I, I don't know, it, it says that, um, that the first human being was created with dirt from the four corners of the earth, yeah, and that God breathed life into the, into the soil and made it. Uh, so it's like when you have a sheet and you bring the four corners of it together? Stop it. Yeah. That's so good. And I love that. And it wraps around you. And it wraps around you like a talus. And you can bring that makes sense. Yeah. your hands that together. That makes sense, yeah. And, uh, yes. And by the way, it's Adam is a human being, like Adam, but Adam, Adam, from the Adama, from the earth. And the life is breathed into the Adama, and you wrap that big sheet, that big universal sheet, and then you get unity. If only we could pay attention to that, right? We'd realize all connected. All right, so let's try it, at least with the, ta- with the tzitzit. So we'll, we'll, as we sing this on 275, we'll bring all the corners together, and then Shema on 277. One thing I loved about the little exercise that we did when we shouted out and just a random name of someone who loved us, all of those sounds blended together into this echad, into this one. There so you go. everybody together comes together and it's, it's one just big burst of sound and it's, it's, that's the unity, that's the coming together. It's, it's happening. Uh, there's a hand up, you have a Onyx. Hand. Oh, we have a, oh, oh, Onyx, yes. Okay, I want to say, if you, keep, you have to keep giving uh, your brilliance, you have to make sure you keep coming to all the rest of the briefments for the services, because otherwise it'll be sad. Yeah, what, tell me. Um, so there's like North America. North America. South America. Like Europe and Asia are like, kind of like, like Eurasia. Like Eurasia, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there's Africa. Africa, I've heard of it. Kind of like uh-huh. By the way, did you ever notice that there's always that there's north and the south, and they always put north on top. Why do they do that? Mm, that's not doesn't have to be that way. Did you ever look at a? Maybe the four corners are arranged in a way that serves certain groups of people. Maybe just flip that globe upside down. See what it's like to have Australia and Africa, South America up on top. Because there is no in space. There's no up down and left. You know. There's just space. There's just space. The endless void of space. The, you know. That sounds a little negative, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> but just as you're talking I mean, about the corner. what can be negative about like beautiful stars in infinite. the sky going infinitely? It's, it's awesome. It's, it's awesome. It's, there's fear and awe and wonder. It's radical. It's radical. Okay, let's, let's do this, because I, I think lunch is supposed to happen in a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, okay. Baja Vieno on 275. We've got a very sophisticated crowd here, though. It's true. So, it's true. you know, Shavuot is coming up. We need, to, we need to get... Get okay. ready for staying up all night studying, okay, right? Okay, I'm going to call an audible and say, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh-huh. this is at the bottom of page 275. It's not transliterated, but you can sing the melody if you know it. The Yeah. 
on the bottom, the very bottom under the line um, from the DAT is David Allen Teutsch. Um, the four tzitziot, he, say, he says, represent the four corners of the world. The divine presence spans the entire area from one corner of the world to the other. So too are the inescapable moral obligations which extend throughout our lives no matter where we are. We'll pick up uh, three and a half lines from the bottom on 285 in the Hebrew, and in the transliteration, it is also about three and a half lines from the bottom. Leman tiskeru vasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kiroshim l'rohechem ahani Adonai l'rohechem asher hotzeiti etem me'eretz mitzrayim Liot Rachem Elohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem, Adonai Elohechem, Amet. Man, let them go. Um, last little bit here of evidence of some sort of spirit in the world is the fact that there are still Jews in the world because we're teeny tiny. We're a little people, you know? Particular. Small. <laughs> five, five, two, five, three, max. Nah. Nah, there's like 15 million Jews in the world and there's eight billion people. So that's just like some tiny number, right? It's like a little nothing, right? Even in the United States, it's, it's a small percentage. 15 million, well, there's about, what, eight million Jews in this country compared to 300 million. So it's like 2%. It's not a lot. Um, there's some people that don't like us and have tried to uh, get rid of us. I, I hope that's not news to anyone. It's not, it's not fun, but it's the truth. Going way back, and here we have, if you look at 290, 291, um, the song that the Israelites sang when there was, you know, it was a pharaoh who wanted to work us to death and then, you know, commit genocide. So it happens. It happens with the Jews. And yet we're still here. Ta-da! Yes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to ruin your day, but we yeah. continue to survive. Yeah, I mean, since we've survived, now we eat and party. Now we eat and party. Yeah, except for the fast days. Um, then we don't eat, but yeah. then we party later. Yeah, we party later. We we'll party later, yeah. right? Um, and uh, there are, of course, group people who want to get rid of other groups of people. Yeah, because mm -hmm. and who's the list? Who's on the list today? Who's on your genocide list today? You know, they, it seems like they put out lists every morning to see who they don't like. Um, and it's like, dude, you know, 
get, you know, go take a walk, touch grass, you know, something. <laughs> get over yourself, you know. Um, and uh, some of us fit into more than one of these categories, you know. And we still prevail. We still make it. We still, we still sing and party. Yeah? Yep. You all right? Bit my tongue. You bit your tongue? Were you going to say something? No, I was just... So it was a metaphorical biting of the tongue. It was an actual... It was an actual... An actual biting, biting of the tongue. All right. So let's, uh, let's sing a liberation song. Let's say, uh, you know, care who we are, gender, immigration status, race, ethnicity, religion, physical ability, mental ability. God celebrates the fullness of who we are. And this is the song um, that the slaves sang when they walked out of that mm -hmm. oppression. Is this your... Is you going to lead this? Yes? 291. Mi chamocha. Who is like you, spirit of the universe, that allows slaves to get free? Mi chamocha me'i madonai. Mi chamocha me'na rakodesh. Yora tehilo. Osei pele. Osei part of our morning service, which is the Amidah. It is called Amidah because Amidah means standing, and we will stand. It has seven parts. It connects to all of the themes we've uh, connected to, physical, emotional, intellectual, and, and uh, it really adds spiritual. We connect with our ancestors, and Avot ve'imahot, the God of our ancestors. We, get, we connect to power, Gevurot, and Kedusha, holiness. And so that's all going to come up in just a second. First, we're going to uh, sing Tzur Yisrael at the star on 291. Um, that's going to lead right into the Amidah on 294 and 5. We invite you to rise in body or spirit. Tzur Yisrael, kum abezrat Yisrael, uftei chenumecha. Yehuda be Yisrael, go aleinu, Adonai tzmot shemo, Kedosh Yisrael. Baruch atarumai gal Yisrael. Adonai sabatai? Adonai sabatai dikto? Adonai sifatai jita ufiya gita hilatecha. Open my lips, beloved one, and let my mouth declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe 
Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. 297. Ha El, Ha Gadol, Ha El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Ha Kol, Vizoher Haste Avot Vimot, Omevi Gola Livne Venehem, Leman Shemo Be'avad, Melech Ozer Moshia Umake, Baruch Atah Adonai, Magen Abraham, Be'ezrat Sarah. 299. Atah Gibor Le'olam Adonai, Rav Lahoshia, Mohorid Hatah. Mechakel chayim bechesed, mechaye kol chay berachamim rabi. So mech nofim derofe chorim, umatir asurim, umekayem emunato, vishene afar. Mocha bal kiburot, umido melech, melech me mi tu mechaye, umats miach yeshua. Benemana tala chayot kol chay, baruch atadonai, mechaye kol chay. Gedusha continues on 303. <laughs> The rest of the Amidah we say in a whisper. You've got pages 306 to 323. There's English, there's Hebrew, there's commentaries below the line on each page. Or there's just this ability here in the silence and sweetness of Shabbat to return to your breath, maybe look out the window, send some good vibes towards Lex. Just take your time. You don't have to sit down when other people sit down. When you're finished with your Amidah at the end of it, we'll invite you to be seated.
come together here after our Amidah with a prayer for peace. We're going to say peace in a few different languages. Yeah, Shalom, Salam, Shanti. And it looks like we've got some guests. <laughs> this is very exciting. It looks like Evan Casey and Stephen Glude and, and Mom. That's so great. The gang's all here. The gang's all here. <laughs> Od yavo shalom aleinu. Od yavo shalom aleinu. Od yavo shalom aleinu ve'akulam. Shalom Alenu, praying. Now, it's time maybe for maybe some answers. I don't know. Let's find out. Seder Kriyata Torah, the service for the reading of the Torah. 383. And Lex, I think you're going to help us out with this. Is that right? Am I really? Yeah. I I, that's... I was kidding. I was kidding. You're kidding? I I am going to help you. You are just a card. Look at you. <laughs> How witty. 383. In Kamo Chavei Le Madonai. In Kamo. 
No. We can't get enough yeah. of that one. I think. Yeah. I was doing it wrong, wasn't I? You just did. You just did creative liturgy. Yeah. Next week we'll try it that way. <laughs> yeah, but not this week. Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Moch, Melam Vahed, Adonai Oz, Adonai Varech, Et Amo Vashalom, In a minute, we're going to open the ark doors, and any time the ark is open or the Torah scrolls, which you're about to see, are raised or move about the room, it is our custom to rise in honor uh, of the sacredness of the scrolls. And so, as we uh, prepare to rise, we invite Brother Lucky Sanders and chosen brother Aiden Hill to open the ark. And as well, we're going to invite Mimi and Papa, Diane and Tom, as well as Christy, Mom, to come on up. And we've got, so we've got our ark openers. We've got our ark openers. All right. Okay. And again, we invite you to rise. We invite you to rise in body or spirit, please. Yeah. I think you can open a door. Right? And we can move that. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Michael. Yeah. And so pull the one on the right first, just at the star. Just pull it. It'll be, yep. And then the other one. You got it. And we are on page 385 by Hebin Soha. By Hebin you to stand at the end of this line here. I got you. I'll, uh, yeah, you can leave it. I'll get you on that one. Aw, oh, so nice. Okay, so it says, um, just have you swing out a little bit so everybody can see your fabulousness. It says in the Talmud, in Pirkei Avot, the sayings of the ancestors, Moshe Kibel Torah Misinai. Moses received the Torah on Mount Sinai and gave it as an inheritance to Joshua. Joshua helped it for a while, gave it as an inheritance to the prophets. And the prophets handed it off to the elders. And the elders gave it to the Anshe Knesset Agadola, the members of the great assembly. And it has, yeah, you've got, you know, later we'll write it down. Uh, oh, somebody already did that. Uh, so it's been passed generation to generation. 
Yeah? And if you squint, you can see way up there in the corner of the ark, you can see Mount Sinai. Moses is getting the Torah. He's passing it to Joshua. Down the line, generation to generation. And this generation, and this generation. And now, Lex, it's your turn. It's me. It's you. Are you ready? I think, yeah. I think, yeah. Yes. Are you really ready? Yes. Are you really, really ready? Yes. That's three yeses. The force of law. Okay, here we go. Uh, and Bayana Rechetz is on page. Oh, man. Oh, man. You always get on me. I say, you say I don't call out page 387. numbers. 387. 387. Oh. <laughs> Bayana Rechetz, the least mechadisha, kadisha yakiha. After Lex. Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adonai You can take a seat for a second, yeah. Um, we are going to read um, from our Torah, and so there are books 
Um, I'll invite maybe some folks who want to help out, hand out these uh, books that are called, hum this is called a chumash, for the five books. Um, you will have, you will then have two books. You will have a, a sidor, and then you will have a chumash. Um, because they both have God's name in them, we try not to let them touch the ground. And so if you can just put it to the side, um, if you're holding one and not the other, or hold them both in your lap. Looks like we've got some extra seats. If you want to just put one on the side, but we try not to put them on the floor. In the meantime, this in front of you is a Torah scroll. Um, it is the first five books of the Jewish Bible. Some people think this is the entirety of the Jewish Bible. I think this is cutting out, isn't it? I'm going to use this. Um, it is not the entirety of the Jewish Bible. It is the first part. There are three parts. Um, we don't call it the Old Testament because Old Testament implies that there's a new and improved model. We are very happy with what we got. Uh, and it is actually called an Eitz Chaim, a living tree, a tree of life. And it continues to grow and bear fruit, and you're going to hear some later some interpretations of this Torah portion, as you see that it continues to bear fruit. Um, so, what are the three parts? The three parts? I didn't say that. There are three parts of the Hebrew Bible. Um, the Hebrew Bible is called the Tanakh. Tanakh is an acronym, um, a word that doesn't mean anything by itself, but has letters that stand for other things, like NASA. Yeah, national. Aeronautic Space Administration, yeah. If you're a computer person, RAM, Random Access Memory, yeah. I always try to come up with new acronyms so I don't bore the people who are here every week. Um, I always love SCUBA, Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus, SCUBA, yeah. Tanakh, first part, the T, Torah, here it is. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the first five books of the Torah. The N in Tanakh, Nevi'im, the prophets, Deborah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, um, who spoke on behalf of God to the people. The K in Tanakh, Ketuvim, the holy writings. We said Psalms is from Ketuvim. Book of Esther, everything that was left over. The, the rabbis said, we should include that. That's good stuff. Don't leave that out. <laughs> that's solid. Proverbs, that's good stuff. Don't lose that. But it is the Torah in and of itself right here that is closest to the Jewish heart and soul, and that is why we read it every week. It is written, this, this, this bad boy right here, written on kosher parchment from a kosher animal. It is written by hand. It takes about a year to write one of these. It has no vowels in it. It has no musical notations in it, which means you've got to be really good at this. Luckily, you're really good at this. Um, I want to tell you about this week's Parsha in particular. It's a double Parsha. It's a two-for-one special. Get it while it lasts. You've got Parsha Bahar and Bahukotai. Fun. You love to say Bahukotai. That's just fun. Um, let's take a look at Bahar for a second. And I'm going to invite you to turn to page... Um, 800 and, oh gosh, I can do this. I can, I've been trained. I, I went to school and everything. Yeah, yeah, okay. Page uh, 850. This is um, rules about the, the long-term calendar, which you're gonna talk about later. Every seven years in the Holy Land, you're supposed to have a Shemitah year. Shemitah year means you don't, let, you don't work the land. You let it lie fallow. You give it a rest. Just like there's seven days in a week and the seventh day is the day of rest. Seven years, the seventh year you give the land a rest. Okay, that's Shemitah. And after seven cycles of seven, you get another year. Year 50, that's the Jubilee year, the Yovel. And what happens on Yovel, on Jubilee year? All real estate deals get reset. So anything you bought, sold, uh, this, is, this is my field, you get this field. Uh, hard reboot. Start over. Yeah? Which means a couple things. You can never build up a real estate empire. Yes, Bill? 
Did I, did I pick the wrong? You have different books? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, the, oh, thank you. I didn't realize they were, paid, they were numbered differently. 946 in the book that looks like bills. If you've got a book that looks like, oh, my goodness. If, it looks, if it's got the little shield on the cover, it's 850. Yeah? Okay. So you can't build up real estate over time. You can't build up a, a real estate empire that you give to your children, and then, you know, then there's some prestige television in which the three children fight over the, the empire. No? no? Succession fans? No? Yes. Notice they're not nice people, right? Sometimes wealth accumulated over time can be corrupting. I'm sorry. It's just the truth. Um, other thing is that everybody's free. If you've been indentured, if you've been a slave, you go free. And if you look at verse 10, I don't know where it is in your version, Bill, but in my version, it's 850. It's the very last line. V'kidashtem et shanat hachamishim. And uh, you make the 50, uh, hamishim, uh, shana. You make the 50th year sacred. Ukratem dror ba'aretz l'chol yoshveha. You shall proclaim release throughout the land for all its inhabitants. Does anybody, does that sound familiar to anyone? Proclaim liberty throughout the land? Not, not to her. I got, one, I got one no vote. Proclaim liberty throughout the land to all the inhabitants thereof. Is it on the what bell? The liberty bell. Did you know it was on the liberty bell? We, you and I never talked about this. We never talked. Do I know you? How did you get in here? Um, <laughs> proclaim liberty throughout the land. All the inhabitants in there, it's on the liberty bell. And what does liberty mean? Huh. Lots of things to lots of people. It might be liberty to charge as much for your goods as possible or liberty to hoard firearms or don't touch my guns, right? Don't touch my profits. Don't tax me. Yeah? That's not what's going on here. Liberty means everybody, all the real estate deals are reset and everyone's free. Says in the Talmud, Dror, freedom is connected to Midayer. You can travel about the country in freedom. Liberty for individual people who are sometimes treated worse than others, not the people who have more, more guns, more power, more money, more land, but for the people who have been less, who have been treated as less. This says, call out liberty to those people so that they can be free to pursue the beauty and the sweetness that is in their souls. We're fighting a lot over words and what they mean in this country right now, like obligation and honor and duty and freedom. If somebody quotes something to you, maybe go take a look at what it says. You shall be free and tell everyone, everyone returns to their family. No matter what the borders are, no matter how the family is constituted or what gender, what ethnicity, everybody's got a right to be connected to family. And if we had gotten away from that, every 50 years we gotta say, hold up, time for a reset. Um, I hope that we can connect to the actual meaning in this text um, as a country and as people, because um, it's overdue. You know? Can you it should be God's will. All right, I'm gonna get out of the way because there's a Torah reading that has to happen. And we've got an amazing blessing here. Um, we've got, as our Gabbai Rishon, great uncle, is it Ron or Ronald? It's Ronald. Ronald Shore. Yes, that's me. Why don't you come up and lead us, and lead us on the path through this Torah reading? Okay, and so we'll have to make sure that we've got the page numbers right. All right, you want this podium? Um, or, uh, Wherever you want. You're the boss. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I'm Ronald Shore. I'm Lex's great uncle. And uh, I'm honored today to serve as Gabai Rishon. Thank you for the honor um, to be your guide for this Torah service. In just a moment, we're going to hear Lex lane or chant their Torah portion. Assisting them today is their trope tutor, Elise Cohen, uh, in the role of Gabai Shini or second Gabai. 
It's Elisa's job to make sure that you are able to hear every word of the Torah as it was intended, helping Lex out if necessary. Lex, Sam and I are so proud of you. You're a bright person and talented and you're living your truth. And uh, I, I want to say that the world is your oyster, but oysters aren't kosher, so I don't think I can say that here. So I'm going to say the world is your gefilte. And you have to look inside that gefilte to find the pearl. Maybe that doesn't work so well. So maybe I should have said a saphonophore. So the world is your saphonophore. Look for the light within. So before we begin, I want to invite you to take a moment, take a deep breath, look around at the family and friends who've come to be with you. Your community is here with you today as an expression of their support for you and your family. As we begin the reading, I will call up members of our family who will recite a blessing in Hebrew before and after each reading. This is known as Aliyah. As a Reconstructionist synagogue, CBH has altered the traditional Aliyah blessing slightly to de-emphasize the concept of chosenness. Instead, CBH focuses on the Jewish people having been called to God's service. We know that people are familiar with the different versions of the blessings, so when you come up, Please recite the one most familiar and comfortable to you. Both versions are available up here on the laminated cards. Personally, I'd, I'd like to make a comment about, this is a, a new concept to me, um, uh, being called to service as opposed to being chosen. And of course, as most reference points in my life, uh, it goes back to a bad joke. So I will apologize in advance. Um, but we, we were raised listening to a record called You Don't Have to Be Jewish, <laughs> if you remember that. Um, uh, uh, probably most people in this room have never heard of it, um, but it was a 1960s album that was very funny, and there was a, a story that, that this brings to mind, this concept of chosenness of Finkelstein, who goes up to heaven as the representative of the Jewish people on earth, and he goes to meet with God because he has an important question for him. And God greets Finkelstein. And Finkelstein says, God, is it true that we're the chosen people? And God says, yes, Finkelstein. The Jews are the chosen people. And Finkelstein says, would you mind choosing somebody else for a change? <laughs> Well, I mean, that brings to mind the, the, the struggles that we have a Jew, uh, as a Jewish people have, have dealt with throughout our history. Um, being slaves in Egypt, wandering in the desert for 40 years, a GPS could have really helped. Um, the, the Spanish Inquisition, the Holocaust, and even to this day there are those who march with tiki torches saying that Jews will not replace us. So it's an ongoing struggle and one that we, we, we have to uh, rise to and we have to choose to be brave and, and go forward in the world as Jewish people. Don't get me started on the challenges we have as members of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, so choose bravery, choose honesty, choose authenticity, and mazel tov to you. So. so we'll begin on page 394 with the first aliyah. Yamdu dina rava bat yosef bela vetam la aliyah harishona. Please rise, Diana Tom Casey, grandparents of Lex, for the first aliyah. Baruch Shenatan Torah Lamo Yisrael Big Du Shato. Vatem Arvekim Baronai Lehechem Chaim Kulachem Hayom. Just the people with the Aliyah have to rise. 
and became Badunai. Elohim Hayim Kaluchim Yahum. Everyone, unless just the just people with the Aliyah. And what what uh, verse are we on? Do we know? Let's find out. Uh, do we know what? Uh, where are we starting? Oops. What's your first word? The not now. The not now. Not now. Okay. All right, let me see. That sounds familiar. Maybe it's in the Torah. Let's see. This is chapter 25, verse 19. If you have on the cover, it's 851 and 947 in the other book, verse 19. Amen. Zanatana ha arats pirya va achaltem la sova vi shavtem la vetach aleha vechi tomru manochal bashana ha shavi eat hen hen lo nizra velo neesof. Et tu vuatenu, vetziviti, et birchati lachem, bashana hashishit, veasat et hatvua lishlosh hashani. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu turat emet, v'haye olam nata betochenu. Baruch Adonai, notein ha-torah. Amen. Tamod Karen Emet Bat Dina Riva, La Aliyah Hashani. Please rise, Christy Casey, proud mother of Lex, for the second Aliyah. We're on verse 22. Baruchu et Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Hamborach leolam ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamborach leolam ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher kervanu la avodato v'natan lanu et torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Uzratem, oh, amen. Uzratem, et hashana hashminit vachotem min hatvua yashan ar hashana 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 hashminit. Eat our bow to do what I to do. Yashan the hearts lo lo. Jimacher leads me to Kili. Hearts, ki the 
כגרים ותושבים, אתם עמדי ומחר ובכל ארץ אחוזתכם. גאולה תיתנו לארץ. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר נתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם נוטה בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נותן התורה holding on to the I Torah. Know. I thought that beautiful. was a nice touch. I wanted to hold on to you the tree it. of life. That's, you got it. It is a tree of life to those who hold fast to it. And you are, you are holding tight. Um, let me give you a little blessing on okay. this beautiful occasion. Mishaberach, Avotenu, Avraham Yitzhak, V'yakov, Imotenu, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, V'leah, may the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, Rebecca and Isaac, let's see, Rachel and Leah and Jacob, yeah, plus you. as you have come up for this Aliyah that Lex chanted, which said that um, you're going to have enough. In the eighth year, you'll still be eating the grain that you brought in. In the ninth year, um, may you always have abundance and find that what you have is enough, that you have enough sustenance, and that you have enough shelter, and you have enough intellectual stimulation, and people reading, <laughs> reading your books. Uh, and, and people you have, looking at my art. And, and the people looking at, uh, at your kiddo's art, and that you have enough love, um, love that just you cannot imagine the storehouse that could hold all the love because it's just overflowing. Um, and may you be able to take that, those blessings and share them and make the world a more fair and a more holy place. And we say, Amen, Amen. Amen. There's a thing in the way, but I'm here. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, we're going to have you stand over there next to Mora Alice. Um, we'll do a little prayer for healing. Yeah? Is that what you have on your list? Uh, what does it say? Oh, so let me do... You want to put in the healing first? Let's do healing, and okay. then we'll do that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we take uh, um, a moment to think of the people in our world who are in need of healing, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, whoever is in your world. Who needs it and I'm going to invite you to think about them and really focus on them and maybe close your eyes you don't have to but sometimes that helps people focus and see that person and what's available to them what kind of healing is available to them it's not always cure right but there's always some sort of healing that's that's open and so I invite you to see them on their journey and protect them with your your thoughts and with your love and with your prayer. Know that your prayer always matters to them, but to the universe as well. We're going to chant Mishaberach. This is our prayer for healing. We're going to pause in between sections, and I'll invite you to say out loud the names of anybody you're holding close as I scan the room and my eyes meet yours. Mishaberach Avotenu Avotenu Mikor ha-chayim Mikor ha-chayim Le-imotenu Le-imotenu U-yevarech U-yevarech Le-yirafech Et ha-cholim Et ha-cholim Et ha-cholim Et ha-cholim El na-refan al-lah El na-refan al-lah El na-refan al-lah El na-refan al-lah
say names, yeah. Linda Weintraub. Ruth Weinstein. Ruth Weinstein. Michael Gilman, Barry Blewett, and his father, and uh, Marty Goldman. Please rise, Lex Sanders. Well, you're already, you're already risen. Uh, the Brit Mitzvah for the third Aliyah. Do you want to read it from this? Okay. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Baruch Adonai Hamarach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamarach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alom Asher Kirivanu Le'avodato Venatin Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen On verse 25 Kiamuch Achicha Umachar Ma Mehuzato Uva Uva Go Alo Hakarov A love Vega Al Et Et Mimkar Achiv the ish ki lo yichelo lo yichelo go el ve ve siga yadov yadov umata kade geulato ve chishav to at Shne to mean Mim Caro, they sheaf at he at ha o deaf Laish a share Maharlo, the shabla who's at Okay. 
Hold on to that Torah scroll. <laughs> Both hands. Yam duha magbia vahala of hug galalet zahav bat yosef vabela. Please rise, great aunt, uh, friend Michael Weiss and great aunt Karen, the Torah lifter and Torah dresser. Please rise as we wrap the Torah scroll. Now that's everybody. Now that's everybody. There's a... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Wait till it's... Getting a little bit ahead of it's my... It's exciting. Head. Okay. Tell Nothing up his sleeve. No. Done this before? Uh, Never. Never? Oh. I okay. did watch a YouTube video. Did it? Ah. <laughs> Stayed at a Holiday Inn. What was it? Okay, right. o open a little bit. To three columns, right? Yeah, that's okay. Um, and then slide it off the end. Yeah. Okay, and then... Push Love down, trade. push down. It's gonna pop right up. There you keep pushing it. There we go, and turn around. Vezo otatora ashet samoshe lifne b'nei Israel piyadonai. Let him stand here. So here, Torah, 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 Torah. You're gonna, you're gonna wrap on top. You're gonna wrap. Together on top, these two. Torah 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 Torah, You may be seated. All right. You may be seated. Anything else you got on there? Yeah. What's it say? Yeah. Um, was uh, were you gonna do? Oh, you do. No, no, no. There's a blessing for. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I skipped ahead. I skipped ahead. Ta'amodna Yaakova Shoshana bat Yehuda v'Miriam. Talia bat Yehuda v'Miriam. Please rise. Cousin Jamie Rose Kuhar uh, and cousin uh, Talia uh, Levin. Uh, uh, Jamie for the prayer for the country and Talia for the poem Untie. And Jude. <laughs> prayer for the country is on 418 in your prayer book. In the in the red prayer book. Sovereign of the universe, mercifully receive our prayer for our land and its government. Let your blessing pour out on this land and on all officials of this country who are occupied in good faith with the public needs. Instruct them from your Torah's laws. Enable them to understand your principles of justice so that peace and tranquility, happiness and freedom might never turn away from our land. Please, wise one, God of the life, breath of all flesh, waken your spirit within all inhabitants of our land. 
and plant among the peoples of different nationalities and faiths who dwell here love and brotherhood, peace and friendship. Uproot from their hearts all hatred and enmity, all jealousy and vying for supremacy. Fulfill yearning of all people for our country to speak proudly in its honor. Fulfill their desire to see it become a light to all nations. Therefore, may it be your will that our land should be a blessing to all inhabitants of the globe. Cause to dwell among all peoples friendship and freedom. And soon fulfill the vision of your prophet. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Let them learn no longer ways of war. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Seven forty-eight in the Cedar. Yes. Okay. Untie, dear God, we are bound with very tight knots. They choke off air and stop the blood from pulsating freely. The knots make us like computers with carefully controlled circuitry. The knots in our brains tie our creativity, our link with you. We follow the knot around in its, in, in its intricacy, but it remains a knot. The knots in our hearts keep us from crying and dancing when we long to. They tie us to the posts of the fences that separate us from each other. The knots in our muscles keep our teeth clenched, our jaws locked, our legs crossed, our shoulders stooped, our backs bent, our chests from inhaling and exhaling the full sweetness of life's breath. Oh God, untie all our knots. Amen. <laughs> Please rise, chosen aunt Jennifer Jiff Weiss and chosen sister Emma Davis to open the ark. Again, as the ark is open, we invite everyone to rise in body or spirit. Page 433. The one on the right goes first. Yep, yep just pull. Yeah, hallelujah, Shem Adonai, Kinis Gahav Shem Olivado, Odo Alevet, the Shemayim. No. 
You can be seated. You want to say, you can be seated. Yeah. You know, this would be a rabbi, yeah, there's always, you know, the, we raw, and the, you know. Uh, try not to, you notice we're not, we're not higher, than, we're not higher than anybody else. We're just, everybody's the same. Yeah, um, I think there's going to be a, like a candy situation, right? Yeah, so this is going to be, um, it might end up being for throwing. You never know. But see, here's the, we, See, the candy is, um, here's the thing, candy is delicious, and uh, it's also kosher, by the way, that's exciting, um, but it's crinkly. And it wounds. Um, so, so, shh, if I can get everyone's attention, please, please, I know candy's exciting. Uh, shh, because it's crinkly, I'm going to invite you to take it uh, and just put it in your lap and not hold on to it and make the crinkly sound because when you make the crinkly sound as a whole congregation, it gets really loud. So I'm just gonna invite you to put it in your lap, in your lap. Great aunt, Ron, Ronald. Great, oh, great uncle, great uncle. Gender schmender. It's fluid, yeah. It'll all be, we're, you have a bunch of aunts who are, I wanna be an auntie, yeah. Um, so put it in, don't, don't hold on to it. Put it in your lap. Put it in your, between your legs. Just leave it. Just because it's going to make a sound. Right? So, um, Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. Yeah? Don't, don't put it in your bag. Okay. It sounds like people are doing that. Okay. Right. And the reason I want you to do that is because um, Lex is going to offer a Devar Torah, a word of Torah. Um, and it's going to be really good. I've heard it. It's really, it's really special. Um, so Lex... Yes. Why don't you, why don't you uh, I'll move this out of your way. Thank you. Why don't you teach us some Torah? What do you think? I think, I think that'd be great. Okay. Wow, that's, that's much closer. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, okay. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Before I start, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for being here, whether you're my family or chosen family. My reaction to my Torah portion, Bahar Bechukotai, from the book of Leviticus, which is about the Jubilee year, ranged from, what will we eat if we don't grow crops, to, this is bad. <laughs> the Jubilee year is every 50th year, and with depths, crops, and land, it's supposed to be control, alt, delete. We let go of everything. Our land goes back, we do nothing, and then we start over. Why? There's a lot of math in my Parsha, which is hard because I have dyslexia, or dyscalculia, which means I can't quite read math properly, but I'll give it a try. Seven days in the week, 49 plus one days from Passover to Shavuot, seven times seven plus one year. That's the Jubilee year. I dislike math, but what really got me was the mention of slaves. In the Jubilee year, the Torah says to free our slaves, but why did we own other people? Why is this in the Torah? To make someone a slave is putting them in the same situation as the Israelites in Egypt. It makes me angry. Hey, Torah, weren't you paying attention during the Seder? <laughs> God freed us. We know how horrible being a slave is. It's unfair and hypocritical to un enslave others when we were once slaves in Egypt. The anger and disappointment I felt reminded me of a time when a person I thought I was closest to let me down. They didn't make me feel safe. I felt hurt, upset, and disappointed. That kind of behavior is really hypocritical and messed up. When you read deeper, you'll find more details about slavery in this Parsha. When it's, about, when it's the Jubilee year, slaves are freed. They can't be slaves forever, but you can't make free people slaves in the first place. For years, I've been bullied with anti-Semitism thrown in my face, literally and figuratively. At first, I thought, just let it be, ignore them. They'll let you go, but it didn't work. So I decided to make a file of evidence on my phone for every bullying encounter I had at my school. Some of the actions that happened were people drawing the swastika on my possessions and other class classroom equipment doing the Nazi salute and saying anti-Semitic phrases as well as other bullying not related to my faith. I am also the only Jewish person in my school that I know of, which adds more hurt because no one else that I talk to truly knows what I'm going through. I went to the teachers, 
principal, disciplinary administrator, and vice principal. I showed each of them everything that had happened to me. They all said, we'll do something about it, but there was no in-school suspension, out-of-school suspension, or anything big for the bullies. They were just written up and sent to silent lunch. I don't find this fair. When people commit hate crimes and say hateful things, they don't get serious repercussions. But when people st stand up to their bullies, they get out of school suspension for it. I felt let down and wounded when people who could do something did nothing. However, even if they didn't fix anything yet, I still feel a sense of empowerment. Like I can change the world all because I stood up for myself. In my Torah portion, it mentions calling out to freedom by saying, you shall proclaim release throughout the land for all its inhabitants. When I was bu being bullied, I tried calling out to freedom by reaching out to authority figures at my school. It was scary, yet exciting. Sometimes, freedom is about playing the long game. I play the long game with my artwork. I kept working on my art for years, improving every step of the way with enough practice I was able to make enough money with it to go on my own sprees or to put cash into savings. When I was in the middle of improving my art, it was frustrating. I thought I knew how to improve, but realized I didn't. I didn't give up though, and I kept finding new ways to refine my art via internet research or messing around with different brushes, tools, or, me tools or media. My Torah portion says that on the 50th year, you shall call it for freedom for all of, its land, all, all of the land's inhabitants. No exceptions. <laughs> no exceptions is important because it means that everyone will be free. It takes 50 years for a good cause to get achieved, the true long game. For my art, it takes a long game working to improve my skills and tactics. For, my, for hate crimes and bullying at my school, the long game is working for the school district to take the problems and punishments more seriously. For ending slavery, it took the long game to be set free. It goes to show that whatever problem you're struggling with, if you keep working on it and fixing it, it will get better eventually. So don't get disheartened. Play the long game. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Lex. Yes, that's my name. That's you. That is me. What? Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Was it? <laughs> They're like, go on. <laughs> Please. Please continue. It was, it was really special. It, listen, um, I, so I'm, you know I'm from New York. What am I doing? You know I'm from New York, so I'm... Uh, I grew so up, it's half of the room here. So it's half of the room. I, I grew up in Rockland County, North Rockland, so it's like Southern Rockland has Jews, North Rockland has like some Jews, and I dealt with anti-Semitism, um, and... It was hard, but there was always somebody there. You know, there's another Jew I could talk to, yeah. right? Um, in the 80s, nobody was coming out, so I was closeted through most of, actually most of college. And so, like, for you to be in North Georgia, which is beautiful and also complicated, mm -hmm. right? Tell um, you. To, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and to be, you're just like, uh, this is me, I'm a blessing. Uh, you know, I was being a saphonophore at school. You're being, I'm, I'm a saphonophore. 
Um, I shine. I don't know if you noticed. I'm shining right I'm now. I'm bioluminescent. I'm bioluminescent. <laughs> right. Um, it's am that's amazing. Um, really inspirational to me. Um, and you know, the, the, you sing and you chant and you lead and you uh, uh, you just you have so much presence and so much poise. I'm uh, I'm just uh, you just blow me away. Um, so I know. <laughs> Um, I know there was a birthday at school. You did not get a sticker. Um, brought a sticker. Sticker. It's not the same sticker. It's a, it's a pug with a bouquet of flowers. So that's for you. Uh, it's because you should always get a sticker. I don't care how old you are. Everyone should... I have a mirror in my in my room that mirror? I put a bunch of stickers on to show what I like. Yeah. This one's gonna be at the top. There you go. Um, so you deserve that. Um, I get to give you a present that I didn't pay for. Yes. Uh, it it is your very own Tanakh. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh right. Ooh. It's not bad, right? It's, yeah. It's um, I get bad. to inscribe it um, um, to each kiddo, and this is what uh, with a, with a verse from the Torah. Um, it's got your name in it, and this is um, the verse that it was one of the verses that you chanted. Um, God says, um, you know, when you're talking about land and giving back and taking and selling and resetting, the land is mine, and you're all immigrants residing with me. God reminds us that we're all uh, we're all just tenants. There's only one landlord for real, for real. Um, and even though you should enjoy being a tenant, you know, you know, put up your own drapes, you know, do your thing. But it's ultimately. <laughs> God is God. Um, so this is what I wrote to you about that. Uh, Lex, I've been so moved by your ability to stand up for your own rights, even as you see the big picture. May you always see the connections and commonality that you have with those around you, even as you connect to the infinite spirit that shines through you because you've got bioluminescence. Bioluminescence. Yes. That's the word of the I'm day. a Saphonophore. 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 five. Saphonophore. Saphonophore six. Saphonophore uh, eight. Saphonophore eight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on next. Um, so uh, I want to uh, invite a representative of the congregation. Is that a thing? Yes. <laughs> Miss Val, come on up. Oh. Speak into a microphone even. I will speak into a microphone. Yay. Yay. I'm so excited to do this. This is the first time I got to do this, and it's for Lex. So, woohoo! Uh, so, don't tell your mother to relax. This is a very appropriate time to be like this. <laughs> so, uh, are, are, you, are you telling, telling someone in the audience what to do? Yes. Yes, that's good. Okay. Anyway, um, this is a gift for you from the congregation, from the whole congregation. The whole congregation? Yes, it is a cup. It is not a boba cup. <laughs> Although it does have like, you know, kind of boba bubbles on it, you know, like it could be, but it's really a kiddish cup. So this is for you. Um, Lex, you, you rocked it. No surprise, totally rocked it. Um, I really wish I'd seen you as Ursula, because I just can, I can, like, um, Lex is amazing. Uh, it, I've known Lex for about a year, and it's been a wonderful year. It's been a wonderful year with the whole Brit Mitzvah class, and with the rabbi, and Lex brings so much ruach anywhere they go. So much spirit, right? So much, like, just... A little bit of chutzpah and a lot of ruach, like you're just, you, you got this. Right. And one of the things that I have adored about Lex from the moment I met you is that you literally and figuratively wear your identities, you wear who you are, you are proud of who you are, yes, <laughs> and, and you're proud of who you are in the face of adversity, clearly, as your devar and as, you know, I know that you've met these struggles. Um, don't ever lose that. You know, you know I, I'm a pin fan. 
Lex is a pin fan, you know, whether it's on the buttons and the pins or whether it's just in your spirit and your ruach, letting it out. Um, don't ever lose that shining power of who you are. And this is to recognize that part of that is your Judaism. You are a Jewish adult today and you are part of this congregation. And I know you're coming back, but come back, come back, be part of the congregation as fully and as completely as you can. All right? Amen. Oh, wow. Um, it's a little emotional, right? Mm. Yeah. A little for clout. Just too much. But, um, okay, so I think there's, it says uh, uh, not just mom is coming up, but Uncle, Uncle Evan is coming up for a blessing as well. But do you want to do the, the, the Baruch Shepatrani first? Do you want to do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I'll, you, I got you. Uh, so there's a, there's a traditional blessing at a Brit Mitzvah. Of course, at a Bar Mitzvah, right? Um, that, um, you know, now that the, this kiddo is really an adulto, right? Thank God. Right? Yeah. Um, we Maybe say... Thanks, God, for getting us this far uh, and for releasing me from the guilt of whatever or the, uh, or the punishment or, God forbid, anything yeah. that, that uh, you know, whatever responsibility I had from when they yeah. So uh, I'm going to invite you, Casey, to repeat after me. All right. Baruch. Baruch. Shepaturani. Shepaturani. Ma'ansho. Ma'ansho. She. She. Hazer. Hazer. Blessed is the one. Blessed is the one. Who has freed me. Who has freed me. <laughs> from. From. The. The. Obligations. Obligations. Of this one. Of this one. <laughs> I'm going to say she's been practicing like, like how she's going to like say that prayer to me. She's been saying it over and over. <laughs> Thank so you, exciting. God, for freeing me from this one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you're free completely. No. But it's, now it's, you know, it's, it's kind of on you now. You're your own person. <laughs> But old I, enough to know better now. I think you got this. I think you got this. Did you want to say your thing first and then I'll say it? First of all, that is a fantastic Yama crown. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I'm just, I'm so excited to be here. I've been thinking about this for months and months. Um, I love the singing. I love the chorus. I love mm. having had the opportunity to be a part of it. Um, I love seeing so many of you that were able to come here and join us today to watch Lex's special day. I'm in awe of you. It's been said many times, your inner strength, your courage, never lose it. I'm not worried you ever will. <laughs> but I'm so happy uh, to see you today read out of the Torah. It means a lot. I love you. Love you. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of tears i know so uh what i'm glad is that you're choked up right now so you won't be able to interrupt me and tell me that you've heard this before that you already know this because well, this is my it. moment so oh, let no, me have it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i've got a blessing for you i imagine yeah first let me say yasha koach my liebte so that means great job my love uh, so you have proved that you are capable of working hard, achieving your goals, learning new languages, leading people with spirit and humor, displaying tremendous courage, grappling with complex thoughts, sharing your gorgeous voice, articulating your ideas gracefully, showing that you possess knowledge, power, discipline, and are actively engaged in living your truth. Congratulations, because that is better than 90% of the adults I have ever met in my life. <laughs> yes. no, 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 no. But that doesn't mean you're done, right? This is the first day of your adulthood. As I am reaching my jubilee year, let me give you some advice that might help you. So life is a constant becoming. 
To live means to learn repeatedly that we're wrong, or we don't know as much as we think we do, or that we are stronger and more resilient and smarter than we expected. <laughs> Sometimes we have to forget what we think we know so that we can learn what's actually true. So stay humble. Change is the only constant. Fearing it will not stop it from happening. It only makes things more difficult. So find a way to embrace it, and change can be so much fun. You can yawn. You've had a really hard day. <laughs> a little fun, guys. A little, a little knobs. A little knobs. Yeah, right, right. So life is going to stretch you. It will challenge you in every dimension. And when it does, my advice to you is to remember the woods, the ones that you're growing up around, right? The trees that bend in the wind and stay flexible are the ones that survive the storms. They will live to bloom even more brilliantly in the spring. I know you will bloom more brilliantly as you get to leave middle school and then high school behind you. Remember that the trees that stiffen and refuse to budge, those are the ones that break. But even when they shatter, the broken ones might be held up by the community of trees that are around them, right? That refuse to let them crash. I hope that when you do stumble, you may be surrounded by communities of people like those tall trees who hold you when your heart is broken and help you heal and evolve and become something else, something better and stronger than what you were. Know that there is no right path, there is no wrong path. There is just a path that you are choosing to walk on, right? If you ever get to a place where you don't like this path, just take a different step in a different direction, right? You are the hero of your own story. You only have to take baby steps. If you can't manage the strength to take a baby step, take a turtle step, which is half of what you think you're capable of. Just keep moving. And if everything looks even and you don't know what to choose, any step you take is going to be the right one, right? Eventually, you will find that you're moving toward your soul's calling. And that is the true long game. That's how it's meant to be played. Uncertain, one step at a time, figuring out as you go, not knowing anything, but finding the people and the things that bring you joy. That's how it can be fun. So as the hero of your own story, don't get distracted by other people's opinions or actions or drama. Any meanness, immaturity, inability to love you the way that you need to be loved, that ugly behavior says more about them than it says anything about you. So don't let yourself be defined by it. Don't get distracted. Do what you need to do. Let the rest of that go. Don't add to your burden by carrying grudges or worries or thoughts or other things that don't belong to you, right? Use the rituals that you have here, the Shabbat, the days of awe. Use those things to help you keep yourself renewed so you can renew your mind and spirit regularly. Remember that you can choose love even when faced with great ignorance and hatred. When you do, you keep your heart from hardening. And it is really hard to stay open, to stay flexible, to stay, to stay soft, to enjoy the sweetness of life. But I know that you are on an artist's path and living life as an artist means you need to stay open. You live with your nerves on the outside of your skin. That is how you create. That is what connects you to your source. So feel it all and don't judge your feelings. Let them just wash over you. They are things that happen. They don't define you. Look for the lesson in them, right? If you can make friends with uncertainty, if you can follow your curiosity, if you can find the joy in doing, then what you need is going to come to you when you're ready. And you'll be able to live a rich life on very little. So it's a really, really weird thing that the older we get, the more we become ourselves. Because we try on roles and ideas and aspects and relationships and jobs and all these other things that we feel like we could, we should, we, you know, maybe do, or because we saw somebody else doing it. 
But at the end, we lay down all of that. We exit the world, the essential being that we came in this world as. So don't tie your identity to any of those things. You were you before you were born. You will change a lot. You will learn so much. And yet you will always be the amazing person that I met when you came into this world and I sang our song to. You gave birth to yourself with a fist raised in defiance. <laughs> you will always know when the time is right to refuse and resist. Keep that passion. Do your best to harness it to creative and generative causes rather than let your ego lead the way. And it will help you blaze new trails to the wilds. You have an expanded capacity for joy both giving and receiving joy. From your earliest days, it's what drove you to create, to connect with others. I know sometimes you feel that it's twin. Grief is what is motivates you, but as you're better able to choose your people and your environments, you'll discover that primal core of joy. That is your birthright too. You are a source of endless, unconditional love. Never be ashamed to ask for the love you need or embarrassed by how keenly you feel or you care for others. Vulnerability is a really tremendous strength. So find satisfaction in the act of loving without expectations. Not everyone has the capacity to love the way that you do. That doesn't mean that you need to settle. When you can accept that your needs are valid, when you can voice them, then you will start to attract people into your life who can love you the way that you deserve. Congratulations on reaching this day, the first day of your adult life. I love you so much, Lex. I am so proud of you. You are off to a phenomenal start, and I look forward to seeing what comes next. Mazel tov. Two t there's two boxes of tissues. <laughs> They're glued to the thing, but it may make. Uh. <laughs> 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 nice job, Chrissy. We're all sorry. <laughs> 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 I want. I want a novelist mom to give me a blessing. <laughs> Can't see anything. My tears. What's there to see? You've seen it all before. I've seen it all. We said the blessing for new things. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna all stand up. We're gonna do one more blessing um, for Lex. Um, this is the priestly blessing. Is I think page three nineteen. If you want to follow along, we'll get there. Okay. I promise. This is for you. This is just for you. You don't need to, do, you don't put it down. Just come here. Priestly blessing. Yeah. You can send out some love. This is the oldest blessing I think that we have in Judaism. Um, it's got three parts. Your job is to say, Cain Yehi Ratzon, which means may it be God's will. If you're not into the G word, just say thumbs up. I, I like that. Cain Yehi Ratzon. Okay. So you face the ark. I'm going to put, yeah. And here we go. Are you singing this or I'm singing this? Up to you. You do it. It's good. Yivarachacha Adonai v'yishmarachha Kein yiratzon Let's make God protect you and bless you. Ya'er Adonai p'nave lacha v'yichudnecha Kein yiratzon May God shine God's light on you. Yeah. <laughs> like theo, theo luminescence in this case. Theo luminescence. Uh, uh, and uh, be gracious to you. 
May God lift up God's presence to you and always give you peace. Always say amen. amen. Okay. Put out your yeah, yeah, yeah. Put out your hands like that. Yeah. Is it there? Uh-huh. Torah always on top. Okay. Go be with the mamala there. What? What do you want? The sea door? Okay. Mamala can take it. Okay. Um, I'm just... I'm going to invite you to remain standing as we turn to 445 uh, uh, for Alenu. Uh, Alenu Shabbat Ladon Hakol La Tekru La Liotzer Breshi Shenatan Manu Torah Temet we put our hope in you, the eminence, our God, to help us be a world of God callers. Create a world of truth and peace, a world where lust for power, greed, and envy, the idols of pride, are uprooted from individual and group psyche when we heal the world with the power of your spirit. On page 449, uh, the last three and a half lines, kakatu. Sort of. 440, no? Um, Yeah, it's Oh. special rabbi, um, and Will Robertson wrote it recently, and we thought with all this bioluminescence, we'd do one more. Oh, two. I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> and you can put your arms around somebody if you're, if you're tired from standing all this time. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Let's take no lam machuchada. 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 Machuchada. Every time a mother cries, I lay new. Every time our fire dies, I lay new. The world is shattered into dust, I lay new. And repairing it is up to us, I lay new, I lay new, I lay new. Let's <laughs> And on now on 449. <laughs> Ushemo, 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 Ushemo. May be seated. We are a, 
a chatty group this morning, so we're going we're going over a lot by a lot. I apologize for that, but we do want to make sure that we do the prayer for the end of hiding, which is uh, on your in to be on an insert, purple insert. There are some uh, by the door if you don't have one, and we're going to call upon Great Aunt Melanie Levin to lead us. What's that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me see. Um, yeah, the other part. Just that. As, yeah. Good morning or afternoon. <laughs> as, L as LGBTQ Jews, we are aware of the loss of integrity we suffer due to, due to the pressures of the larger, larger society. society. We often, we often feel forced, forced into, into a, a dishonest, dishonest presentation of ourselves, of ourselves to, to ourselves, ourselves and, and others. others. The LGBTQ individuals who feel they must pretend to be something that they are not. The Jews who feel they must be alienated from their, their tradition and community to win larger acceptance. Both are victims of a theft of identity and integrity committed by the sexual, gender identifying, or religious majority. Creator of the universe, we ask that our hiding draw to an end, that we no longer feel we have to pretend, to promise falsely, to renounce ourselves, and that our fullest creative expression as Jews and as lesbian, gay, transgender, bisexual, and queer people be among the blessings you bestow upon us. Amen. Thank you. We turn our hearts to the people who have made us who we are, who have come before us, and who are no longer with us. Those whom we know who have died at this time in years past, and those whose grief is still fresh. Um, those of every race and nation who have been a blessing to humanity. Uh, we do this with Kadish Yatom, the mourner's Kaddish. She's uh, going to be on page 451. Um, before we start, is there anyone who is remembering a recent death or the yard site, the year time anniversary of a death, who'd like to share that, those names out loud? Anyone who would like to do so, I invite you to stand. Yes. Uh, Amy St. Pierre. Amy St. Pierre. Killed during the Midtown shooting. Killed during the Midtown shooting, yes. Grandma. Grandma. Bunny. Bunny. Any other? Aunt Joan. Grandpa Joe. Any other names that we're remembering at this time? Jean Casey. Casey. Frank Neely and Stan Millman. Frank Neely and Stan Millman. Stan Millman. Any other names? So you'll see the Kaddish on 451. When we get to the fourth line, um, it's our custom to for the whole congregation to rise uh, in support of those who are rising here today with us, both, uh, again, in support of them and as well uh, in memory of those who die every day of war, of hate, of abuse, neglect, hunger, improper health care. Um, I'm thinking, again, of Jordan Neely, who was killed on the subway in New York, um, and the fellow who, was, uh, who uh, we lost to suicide, who was a son of Atlanta, um, a gay fella up in New York whose name I can't remember. Um, it's up to us, as we said, to hold up their memories and to um, have them not die in vain. Um, as well as all people who are killed al Kadush Hashem for the sanctification of God's name amongst the Jewish people. Kaddish Yatom, Mourner's Kaddish, is on page 451. Yit Gadal v'yit Shemei Rabbah Bialma divra chirute, Bialmlich malchute, Bachaye chon of Yome chon, Ubachaye de Hall Beit Yisrael, Bagala uvisman kariv vimru amen, and we rise. Yehe shme raba mivarach le alam ulalme almaya, Yit barach vishtabach, Yit paar vit romam vit nase, Vit hadar vit ale vit halal shme de kudisha barichu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tushbachata v'nechamata, damiran be'alma v'imru. Amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru. Amen. 
Ose shalom bimromav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'al kol yoshvei tevel, v'imru, amen. Zecher tzadik livrecha from the book of Proverbs, the memory of our righteous ones is always from a bless, for a blessing. And we say amen. You may be seated. Um, what, were there announcements? I think we're, like I said, we're way over, so I'm going to say uh, if there weren't, that's okay. Uh, next, is next Friday the thanks, Amy? Uh, thanks, Amy. Yeah. Shabbat shalom. Next Friday, I think we have our potluck Shabbat dinner. Um, so early services and the dinner afterwards. Um, <coughs> and then the Brit Mitzvah <laughs> of Senor. Felton, um, the bow tie that won't quit. See it, see it in action next Saturday morning. Um, Shavuot is coming up um, the 27th, 25th. Um, please join us for short services, pizza, dinner, and uh, Mount Sinai made out of ice cream, uh, followed by study into the night. Thanks to Abby, who was making it all work, as always, in the back. You rock. <laughs> Every, everyone, everyone on the office staff, Calvin, who is our facilities person, um, who is our officer. Did we have an officer? No officer. Who needs an officer? God bless them. They should live and be well. Um, Adon Olam. It's going to be on page 459, followed by Kiddush and Motzi. Outside. Outside the patio. Okay, should we have people move the chairs? Or Okay, so... This, what's that? We have gluten-free and regular challah. We have gluten-free and regular challah. And gluten-free and regular bagel. And gluten-free wine. And <laughs> gluten-free prayer books. Uh, yeah, no, that's very important. I'm being stupid. Yes, excellent. Bagels, too. Um, so we're going to... Uh, so when the service ends after our final song, we're going to invite you to bring the prayer books back to the hallway. We're going to invite you to move the chairs out of the way so we can put tables here. Breed Mitzvah class, come on up. You'll see some of them, many of them are wearing talitot, talisim, because they have been through this process. Look at that, like you. Um, we only got a, we got a couple left, though. Come on, Jake. 4.59. Okay, you're doing your own thing. This, this, the, no wonder we're half an hour late. You just keep talking. We, okay, we're going to be, we're going to finish. 459. Wow. Adon Olam, Asher Malach, Beterim Kol, Yitzir Nivra, Liet Nasa, Vechav Soko, Azai Malach Shimon Ikra, Adon Olam, Veachare Kichlot Hakol, Levado Yimloch Nora, Adon Olam. Vahu haya, vahu hove, vahu yiye beti fara adon olam, adon olam, asher malach, beterim kol, yitzir nivra, liet nasa, vechav sokol, azai melech shemo nikra adon olam. Let's go to the last verse. Biado, avkin ruhi. Be tishan we are here adon olam we mruchi kviati adon I leave alone here adon olam adon olam Asher malach b'terem kol yitzir nivra liyeh nasa v'chav sokol as I melech shemoni kadon olam. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. We'll meet you outside. Mazel Tov. And Phoebe and Nicole and Yolanda, Shabbat Shalom to you.